Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kitty Martini Cross Nation, and today we're just going over our usual Monday morning uh, updates that we got going on for this week. So the first thing I want to remind you guys is that today is the last day to apply for the Make Your Mark uh, event going on for Kingdom Hearts 3. Now the notice in-game is not available to be seen anymore uh, to actually sign up on. Because remember, you have to actually go to a specific link in the that was in the notice for you to go to to actually sign up and input your, your, your ID, your player ID and whatnot. Uh, that's no longer visible within the game, so I'm going to be leaving the link myself down in the description below. And if you haven't signed up already, even if you know you're not going to get that many points, remember that this whole event is more like a raffle than anything else. So even if you only get like one point, uh, you have a possible chance of being in the game, okay? Even whales and veterans are not guaranteed to be in the game, even if they get like max points or whatever. It's more like it's primarily a raffle more than anything else. So if you haven't signed up already, you should sign up because like, why not? <laughs> you might as well do it. It's you're not losing anything from it. Uh, don't please don't feel discouraged uh, just because you may be like a new player or something. Other than that, remember that today is also the last day for getting in your Toon Moogle medal uh, for today's login as well. Today is Monday. Uh, today is the last Monday too that you can get your Toon Moogle medal. Um, so if you've been logging in uh, every day properly, uh, this should be your third Toon Moogle medal. And uh, in addition to that, because of the fact this is the last day of April and tomorrow, uh, Tuesday, begins the first day of May, uh, we are supposed to be getting our jewels for all of our Moogle medals, include so, bo so both the Moogle medals from our daily logins, as well as our uh, Toon Moogle medals from our Monday logins these past couple past few weeks. Um, so if you've been logging in every single day, you should be getting at least a minimum of 5,000 jewels sometime in May. Uh, I don't know the specific dates, but I'm, I'm assuming maybe like the, the first week or two, we should be getting our jewels. Alright, so now that I've mentioned that, let's go to the actual notices for today. Alright, so starting off, we're getting two returning avatar boards, uh, the ones for Aqua and Terra. I know a lot of people tend to like these, I mean, because, like, you know, it's Aqua and Terra. I know a lot of people especially like Aqua, because, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but Aqua is my waifu. <laughs> in terms of actual, like, what's good about them, there's, there's, there's nothing good in these avatar boards anymore. So if you're just trying to get that step up in the game, uh, you, you don't have to worry about these at all whatsoever. Alright, so the next notice is that we are getting another Union Cross this week, and uh, I was kinda, I was kinda, like, curious about this last week, but now this week kinda confirms it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that they're starting to go uh, at a weekly schedule for Union Cross now, where, like, it actually resets every single week and is no longer, like, a two, three, or, or even, like, a month-long event type thing. If you're able to beat the bonus time within Union Cross, whether it be by yourself or with a friend, you honestly can beat Union Cross really easily within just like one or two bonus times, to be honest. Uh, so this was a change that kind of needed to happen, and I'm glad they finally did so. Um, it's also worth noting, too, that uh, this week for the Union Cross, there's actually a few things that we'll be getting. First of them being that we're seeing a return of the farmable young Kairi, Sora, and Riku medals uh, that we've had in the past. Now, realistically, these aren't the greatest of medals, but I mean, hey, uh, it's, it gives us something to do. Uh, at the very least, if you haven't had them before, or if you haven't had them guilted before, you should try to be getting these max guilted as much as possible. Yes, I know, they're tier 3 medals. They're not good anymore, but if you're looking to try to be the best, if you're trying to get as far as you can in the game, you need to get your Nova level as high as possible. Now, I know Nova levels right now practically do, like, no damage whatsoever compared to our actual medals, but when it comes to competitive scene, um, especially if when it comes to like get, trying to get those clutch moments during events like or Organization 13 events and whatnot, every single little bit of damage helps. So, especially when you get to a spot like I am where my Nova level is like 1300 plus, uh, my Nova can do pretty decent amount of damage. Uh, still not nearly as much as my medals will do, but like, I mean, I will still do anywhere from like 10 to 20 bars of health, which is 
pretty decent. But just to kind of go over what these medals do again, in case those of you who are new to the game don't know, okay, Young Sora raises your speed-based strength and magic-based defense by one tier for one turn, Young Riku raises power-based strength and speed-based defense by one tier for one turn, and Young Kairi raises strength and defense of all attributes by one tier for one turn. It should be obvious that uh, Young Kyrie is the medal to go for when it comes to chasing for this three. If you are new to the game and you don't really have any turtle medals aside from HD Zexion, uh, maybe you want to consider getting Young Kyrie. Now remember, they're not the greatest of medals, but I mean, like, if you're a new player, it's it's something. It's something. It's something that helps. It's something you can use for now until you can get something better, basically. I should also note that for this Union Cross for this week, we can actually get our boosters for the Dark Knot, if you look over here on the right hand side of the actual banner, okay, it shows the Dark Knot booster. And I mean, like, it even says in the notice too, but yeah, it shows it. <laughs> so this week for Union Cross, we're also getting Dark Knot boosters, uh, which is pretty nice. And Dark Knot is honestly in a really good spot right now, especially after getting the HD uh, Riku replica copy metal. So we got another uh, returning past EX banner, which is the Era uh, Foreteller medal banner. Uh, realistically, the metal's not the, that great anymore. Um, in case you don't remember what this metal does, this is what it does. It's a power upright metal, uh, tier 7, and for two turns, it raises upright strength by 1, lowers targets PSM defense by 7, and defense by 2, and inflicts more damage to one enemy left, including raid bosses. Enemy countdowns are unaffected. Its AoE costs 1 gauge, and has a total max multiplier of 9.96 to 13.56. The metal is not that great anymore. For the most part, you're going to be hitting the 9.96 end of the uh, end of the multiplier, unless you put it in like the the like near the back end of your keyblade, where you can actually more realistically get that 13.56. Um, but even the 13.56 multiplier that Era provides is kind of getting kind of average now. And honestly, at this point, uh, with a multiplier like that, you might as well just be using some like stronger uh single target or even AO or even like random target metals instead at this point like Hercules B and such he he's really not worth it he's really not worth it anymore um uh, sure he provides an upright buff but I mean like the stained glass metals right now the upright ones provide max upright buffs so like that does that's not gonna help you um the minus seven PSM debuff that he provides well is just like uh, like Kyrie and Shion EX already kind of do that if you copy him once uh and same thing with like the stained glass medals and whatnot for their respective attributes uh like pretty much pretty much every like uh game breaking metal right now the stained glass medals and the Kyrie and Shion EX uh they already outperform era for his abilities and his and his multipliers aren't that great because uh, you can just use better damage metals. So I really don't recommend pulling for Era whatsoever unless you just like really love Era for some reason. All right, so talking about this week's VIP, we are getting another accessory part for our pet, which is the Kingdom Hearts 3D Sora Party Hat, um, as well as 1,400 extra jewels. Uh, this is a little bit of a hunch on my part, so this is just speculation. There's nothing confirmed about this, about what I'm about to say. But I have a feeling that they may end up trying, uh, giving us 1,400 extra jewels for VIP uh, for the entire month of May. There's nothing to really back this up. It's just, it's just purely a hunch on my part. I want to say it's to go along with the uh, stained glass medals that's come out because they kind of did just throw four of them at us and whatnot and on top of like all these other banners too uh and remember we're getting the organization 13 event for the month of uh may as well which is what in like two weeks or so and the organization 13 medals at least in the past for the previous organization 13 events tend to be really good like they're, they usually are worth going after so I wouldn't doubt it if the Organization 13 medal for this month ends up being really good. Yeah, I, it's just my hunch that they may just be giving us 1400 jewels for the rest of the month. Uh, that's not confirmed though. But they're also giving us the uh, their usual Master Zane or EX Plus medal again for this week. Uh, I believe this is like the third week for Master Zane or EX Plus. Uh, in case you don't remember what he does, this is what he looks like and this is what he does. Uh, he's a tier 8 speed reverse metal. He does 3 hits and for 1 turn he lowers the target's reverse defense by 2 and speed defense by 7. And inflicts more damage to higher HP. He's an AoE metal, costs 4 gauges and has a total max multiplier of 8.84 to 15.37. Now he's really good. I mean, he's really just another version. Uh, he's he's literally just completing the the reverse trio uh, for 
reverse debuffs at this point. Because uh, right now for power, we have Sephiroth EX+. Plus, and right now for magic, we have HD Vanitas EX+. Plus. And now for speed, we have Master Xehanort EX+. Plus. Uh, so he's literally just completing the trio. Uh, we're also getting the 7 magic broom medals again, just like usual. We're also getting the... Uh, times two power speed and magic gems again, just like usual, and the VIP magic mirror quest, just like usual. So there's honestly not, not nothing too different for VIP this week. We're also seeing a return of the special EX medal deal. Uh, not realistically, because of the fact that uh, we are just being thrown a ton of banners at us this month for May. Uh, I would recommend not pulling from this. You're probably going to want to save those 3,000 jewels for... Like the stained glass medals, for example, or the organization 13 medal that's going to be coming out in a, in a couple weeks. I honestly recommend not pulling from this and just saving your jewels. Um, because I, honestly, I can tell you right now, we're already going to have a ton of stuff uh, for this month of May that we're going to have to end up being looking forward to. So, the last thing that they announced in their notices for this week is the fact that we're getting a consecutive battle challenge. Uh, in which you can get a total of 300 jewels. Now, I've already completed a consecutive battle challenge, and to be honest, it's it's not hard at all. It's honestly really meant for beginners. Uh, the enemies don't really go past level 200 or 250, to be honest. And uh, if you're playing, if you're a new player and you've been playing and you've been like pulling from the, like the top drawer deal itself, for example, uh, you can easily beat these quests uh, no problem <laughs> like you should like yeah you shouldn't have a problem with these guys like they're really easy to beat anybody can do it um so for a really easy event to get only 300 jewels honestly that's pretty decent that's pretty good uh for really easy like beginner level event 300 jewels is not that bad i can't complain about that if it was a really hard event and we only got 300 jewels then yeah that like i would cause an uproar but no for something like this which has ended up pretty much being for mostly beginners uh this is just fine 300 jewels seems just fine okay so that's it for all of the notices for today uh there's a couple things i want to quickly mention before i end this video which is the fact that uh i know a lot of people have been complaining about a few things when it comes to this week's notices particularly because of the fact that this is technically the last day of the month of april which is supposed to be the like uh the anniversary month of the game and everything like they i mean it's but we're supposed to be celebrating anniversary the entire month and like i know a lot of people were let down today because of the fact we didn't really get anything to help make anniversary feel more like an anniversary for a lot of players one of them being that uh a lot of people were expecting to get the second anniversary uh farmable medal that was released in jp which i think is like called sora and friends or whatever um, but we were expecting that at, to be the farmable medal for anniversary, but we never got that. Uh, and, I, I, and a lot of people were expecting that to appear for this week's Union Cross. So to see it not pop up, I know a lot of people got like kind of disappointed. And um, the only thing I want to say about that is like, please don't don't worry about it too much. Uh, remember that the global version of the game sometimes does have medals and whatnot come out at different times that are just like slightly off season uh compared to like when they come out for jp so just because we didn't get the farmable medal uh this week doesn't mean we might not get it like within a month or even like two three weeks from now okay um uh, so just keep that in mind it's not the end of the world sure yeah it would have been nice if we had gotten it uh as the announcement for this week and realistically at least the way how i see it um like they they, they should have been like they if they've been planning this event for like in advance they should have already known that like the second anniversary medal should be within the month of second anniversary uh so like it doesn't really make sense to me but remember like their scheduling is weird for global sometimes so don't worry about it too much um the second thing i know people have been getting pretty frustrated about uh is the fact that uh there was no announcement for new moon gems for this week and whatnot uh the only thing i gotta say about that is the fact that remember today is the 30th today is monday the last day of april so technically like they wouldn't need to announce any more moon gems because we're still technically in april for today for a monday uh so for anything it's gonna be for tomorrow in which i would expect or tr like at least you know anticipate uh, an announcement of some sort for more moon gems or at the very least there might be more moon gems for coliseum as a reward for getting like tier 15 16 again 
Um, so that's something that I would, that, that's what I would have to say about that for Moon Gems, okay? But other than that, that's it for today, guys. Uh, that was all the announcements and quick reminders I wanted us to give you guys. Remember, sign up for that Make Your Mark Challenge. The I'm leaving the link in the description below. You have no excuse to not do it. It's, it's a free, it's a free chance to get inside of a really highly anticipated game. My favorite series of all time. So, you might as well do it. The link is in the description below, but... Other than that, uh, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.